Hi there, and welcome to our overview of the new Flatbed scanning capabilities in FreezerWorks 2017 desktop client. Today we are going to quickly move through the Flatbed configuration process, and then I will show you all the tools that you can use a scanner with and demonstrate how to use our Flatbed scanner overlay. For more detailed instructions of everything Flatbed scanner, including how to properly set up the scanner's own software to work with FreezerWorks, see our help documentation. To begin though, before you can use any flatbed scanners in FreezerWorks, you will need to configure and test their connections. Open Configuration, External Integration. Then select Flatbed Scanners in the mini menu. Now this opens the Flatbed Scanner list view, where you can add scanners and update any existing ones as well. We'll click Add New, and the Configure Scanner form opens. First you want to give your scanner a name. and include a description to help with organization if you'd like. Next, we'll select the barcode field, which is the field that will be used to match the IDs scanned by this scanner. Needless to say, only unique aliquot fields are available in this dropdown. At the time of scanning, when you select the scanner, the field you choose here will automatically be selected for scanning but you can always change it at that time as well. Now to the really important stuff. First select the type of scanner you're using. For the time being, FreezerWorks only supports FluidX and Micronic scanners. Then you'll enter the IP address, the computer name works too, and then the port number. Once all these fields are filled in, the test connection button becomes enabled. Click it to load your scanner's box sizes. If the connection doesn't work, you will be alerted and told what needs to be fixed. The scanner's box sizes are set up in the scanner software itself, and we just pulled that data. You can perform a test scan if you like. Just highlight the box size currently on the scanner and click Test Scan. The list of scanned values will appear with a scan report listing all no vials and no scans. More on this in a minute. When you're done creating the scanner, click Save. So, your scanner is configured. Now you can search, perform QC checks, and process workflows using it. You'll find Flatbed Scanner Workflow Tools under Workflows, Process with Flatbed Scanner. Each workflow type is available on this mini menu. For QC checks, you'll find that a Flatbed Scanner button has been added to the form. Finally, the new Flatbed Scanner search tool is in the search menu. Search by Flatbed Scanner. We'll open this and I'll show you how the Flatbed Scanner overlay works, as this is the generic tool used for all Flatbed scanning activities in the FreezeWorks desktop client. So, first you'll select your scanner, and if only one scanner is configured in your database, as is the case for me, then it will automatically be selected. The barcode field defaults to the selection made during configuration, but you can change it if you like here. Next, we'll select the box size that we're about to scan. Once that's done, click Scan. Let it roll. Once the scan completes, the list of values will appear below. Next to the list of values is the scan report where you can see the number of vials scanned, including any no vials and no scans. Now, no vial means that there is actually nothing to read in that box position. And no scan means there is something in the position, but for whatever reason, it cannot be read. You will have to clear any no scans before you can continue your work, but no vials are okay. You can either click rescan to do it all over again, or manually fix the problems by scrolling through the list to find the ones highlighted in red. These are the no scans. No vials are in yellow. You double click the no scan line and the edit overlay will appear. From here, you have three options. Either manually enter the vials data using a handheld scanner or your keyboard. You can also use your flatbed scanner single scan reader, or you can simply click no vial to change the line accordingly. Empty positions being treated as no scans can be a common problem so the no vial button provides a quick and easy fix. 
Now that there are zero no scans, we can either click continue to move on with our task or click add box if there are more boxes we need to scan. When you add a box, a box report appears at the top. Like the scan report, it tells you how many boxes have been scanned and how many total vials have been scanned across those boxes. Now you can scan as many boxes as you like, and when you're done, click continue. And since we were searching, we are taken to the landing page list view where the aliquot records matching the scanned values are listed. Well, that's flatbed scanning in the FreezerWorks desktop client. Please, if you have any more questions or need things explained in greater detail, consult our help guide or contact our dedicated support staff. Thank you for watching and see you next time.